and you're watching Pro Teaches News. Ooh, is somebody talking about pros? Um, not that kind of pro. <laughs> See you there. Hey guys, welcome to another lesson of Pro Teachers Do. Today with me, Stefan Dox. Hello. Hi. And continuing our kick ass coverage, we're going to be going over Kick Ass 2. While it came out after Kick Ass 1 and before Hit Girl, again, we're going in the reading order. And as you notice at the end of Hit Girl, it's at end of book two because it is, that is the order. And Hit Girl was definitely a lot better. Clearly, that one took a lot more influence from the movie. Whereas this one, I think it's going to be a case where it takes some influence, but not a lot of influence yet. Yeah, I think Hit Girl, they, they yeah. really wanted to include those scenes and build off of them. And probably to give stuff for the movie to use, the second movie. Exactly. But, yeah. Hit me! Hit me! Come on, you little p pussy! Fight like a man! Oh! Kicks him in the butt. Yep. I fucked this shit. I'm going home. What are you talking about? I'm just sick and tired of coming here three times a week and having my brains, my brains bashed in. Oh, yeah? How else are you going to learn how to fight? This isn't the Karate Kid, dumbass. You don't wax guards for a month and end up with a black belt. My <laughs> dad would have had you doing 100 push-ups for all this whining. Not if, he tr not if he cracked my goddamn ribs, man. I feel like Rihanna after I, a quiet night in. Look, I'm not fucking oh around here. Well, uh, that was I'm excessive. That was so excessive. Oh I God. hated that. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Like, I'm training you up to, because I smell potential. But if you'd rather hang around with your MySpace, ow, superheroes, uh, sorry, but ow. <laughs> yeah, for real. Just right, no, no, I still want to be part of all this. The world's first super team is the next logical step. So eat when I tell you, sleep when I tell you, and stop being such a little bitch. Two-minute right. water break, and then it's time for group work. I want to see how you cope against three grown men with severe learning difficulties. Are you <laughs> shitting me? <laughs> oh, fuck. Amateurs over, and hours over, kick-ass. You ready to go pro? Yes, sir. That's more like it. Oh, Mindy, when it, when, and what are we going to do with you? <laughs> hey, sweetheart, good day at school. Yeah, but Miss Barnes was off sick, so and so we had Mr. Warren teaching science class. Miles Warren, in other words. Oh, See all the jackal. Yeah, yeah. that's creepy. Uh, but he's such a I mean, but he's such a an old grouch. Can you believe that he put Sean Bailey in detention just for talking to Debbie Foreman? Oh, really? And now, how would you know about that when you've been training kick ass all day? What are you talking <laughs> about? I haven't seen kick ass in months. Don't lie to me, honey. I know about this little superhero team, super in this little super team you've been trying to put together. I yeah. am a detective, remember? Now again, since this came out before Hit Girl, I know it's looking back at this, this is clearly why they needed Hit Girl to be in between. Right. You're just being thrown in with Marcus already. Yeah, because it would just be way too big of a gap for the audience if you didn't yeah. accept it. And I think that's part Which of it. Which is probably what people went through when they read it. They're like, wait, what's going on here? Right, but it's also what people went through when they saw the movie and didn't read the comics. You yeah. Know? It's like, I think that's why it didn't do as well, because there were so much holes in the information yep. you were getting that you couldn't follow all of it. So they had to, but yeah. I swear, I haven't touched a weapon since the day I came home. Oh, yeah. Okay, now that doesn't fit. Right. Oh, yeah? This is what I found in the playroom alone. Props for getting an AK-47 and a teddy bear, by the way. Oh, man. <laughs> Grounded, big time. I'm not angry with you, Mindy. The way your dad raised you was highly unusual. So I get why civilian life might take a little time. I just want you to lose touch and, lo and lose touch with all these online superheroes. I know they mean well, but they're crazy, sweetheart. You gonna tell mom? Of course not. But this is fit. But now this part, okay, doesn't ma uh, match up. No. It's one of those cases where you do that integral that does fill in the gaps, but then it raises more gaps. Exactly. Yeah. Brings up more questions. Like this here, it's like, but they've already talked about this. Right. Like, this uh, of course, but if this, if this family's going to work, I need you to promise no more guns, no more masks, no more secret training. I promise. 
You got coming home, Paul, and you coming home, put your mom back together again, Mindy. Losing you now would just about destroy her. Oh. It's kind of like where you know where we left off. Like right. that's what they're trying to do, in my opinion. Yeah, they're trying like, to do that here, but at the same time, though, it doesn't add up. Right, yeah. because if this came out first, then it just doesn't make sense, the order of things. Yeah, I mean, obviously, it's a case where they decide, let's go fill in the gaps, but then they're thinking about telling a fuller story, and obviously right. that means having to do stuff that's going to contradict things here. Right, and then you have to fill in those gaps at some point, too. You know? Yep. But um, if I had been normal, some I love, but yeah, but like, because uh, all parents want to, and want is their kids to be normal. They say they want you to stand out from the crowd, but learning to blend in is a way is a way more useful survival skill. If I'd been normal, someone I love would have never been brain damaged. My secret identity would never have been exposed or a house blown up when I, when I was out. So basically, we're getting set up for what's supposed to happen by the end. So we're starting towards the end. Uh, some of this is towards the end. Oh, no, hit, well, this point here is. The end point, but now we're going to and say this is what we're coming up with. Okay. Even the big fine Times Square was Red Mist and his guys would never have happened. But maybe I'm getting ahead of myself here. Let's go back to where we finished last time. Poor dad's been dumped by that woman he was dating. Oh, they seem so nice. <laughs> so we're back to eating chili every night. Chili was the only meal he learned how to cook after mom died. And I swear we ate it seven times a week. My own love life was kind of sucky, too. I joined a prayer group to meet some girl who has literally never spoken to me. Got laughed at in school when I asked a babe to go see Prince of Persia. Grew mildly obsessed with a middle-aged woman in, a gigant in gigantic heels who walked past my window every, mo every day. But Katie Doxima was still the object of my desire, even though I'd blown it and she absolutely hated me, even though she and blanked, and blanked me at every opportunity. She was still my Mary Jane, my still my lowest... Ah! Back terrible. to this, Dave. Terrible. <laughs> Back to this, so Dave. Yep. So yeah, this is before the movie actually influenced the writing. Yeah, this is the gross, Dave. This yep. My Wanda Maxwell is drawn by Adam Hughes. Of course, hey. she hates you. Chicks always hate it when you fake being gay to get a look at their dirty pillows. <laughs> I know I was wrong, Marty, but I also know that I can make this right. Shut up, Dave. Just stop it. Just stop it now. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're doing too much. This is one of the hard parts getting through. It's Dave. Hit girl adore. Dave. Too much. Yeah. Again, they make him so much better in the movie. They the first movie. What is it? Men's Not Gay? Is that what it was? What? <laughs> Check Men's Not Gay. <laughs> like, right. Just like, Whatever you say, uh, you guys see Spider Man on TV last night? Is it weird I find Aunt May kind of hot? It's, it, and isn't she like fucking 80 or something? I don't mean the sequel, that's all. I mean the first one where she has the heart attack and you see her in a nightdress. Oh, shit. Oh my god, dude. That one got me. That one got me. And this was before was long ready. before Marissa Tomei, remember? Exactly. I wasn't ready for that. I was just thinking of the actress that actually played her in the I know. movies with Toby Maguire. That I know. Oh, will you see her in her fucking night Oh, down? And yeah, and this is still yeah, this is still during the Raimi trilogy. Exactly. Yeah, because um, a mate Garfield wasn't until 2012. Right. Mm -hmm. No, like I'm just thinking of the older woman that was definitely in Spider-Man. <laughs> that was it. But she's like 90 now. She isn't definitely she? was like fucking 70 in that movie. Uh, well, excessive. We got Doctor Gravity. Probably one of the good, uh, the good, the strong guys will be introduced to. I nice. built the gravity ball in my spare time when I was out crime fighting. What's it do? Just hit the bot button and you can make something 20 times its actual way. Flip the reverse and you can float. Seriously? Are you nuts? It's a baseball bat wrapped in tinfoil, man. How could anyone build a gravity pole? I'm just an English major, but that's what I like about this whole superhero and real life superhero thing. It makes It's making a statement and being who you want to be. I do like this guy because he's basically showing what Kick-Ass inspires, but it's what Kick-Ass it wants you know, wanted to be initially. Right. 
he wanted to be the one that was known. He wanted to be like the actual superhero. Yep. You done many team ups before? Just a couple, but it feel always feels good being out here with somebody. Way better than just walking around on your own. There's a couple of guys on my Facebook page talking about forming a team. If you're interested, I don't know how serious they are, but they and look pretty hardcore in their profile pics. You kidding me? That's the reason I started this shit. All I ever wanted to, and wanted was to be in the Justice League. Yo, kick ass, man. Am I glad to see you? Oh, no. Always give him the benefit of the doubt, doctor. Anything we could do to help, sir? Yeah, some motherfucker just jacked my wallet and shit. Oh, but, oh, man, you want me to do anything? That's okay. I'm actually pretty good at this. Okay, he's doing better. Uh-oh, that's my cousin. Come on, we better get out of here. Uh-oh, cops. <laughs> this is the, and these were the months when the Red Mist was still traveling East Europe, out of his face and on drugs and collecting all of his little Twitter bastards for the, the shit that was to come. Things were still good in New York City. Hicker and I taking out a gang lord, for Christ's sake. You hardly did anything! <laughs> he barely did do anything. Two little girl and kids against the coast of fucking Nostra. My mind was reeling with what a team might accomplish. Again! <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, I can't join a superhero team now, kick ass. I'm not even supposed to be talking to you anymore. But look what we've achieved, Bindi. You just can't, you can't just walk away. This is what you always wanted. You have to sign up. I can't. You don't understand. I keep, I'm, I made a promise and I have to keep it. Again, contradicts the end where you already right. told him this. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Everything's fine. Calls, uh, good, because Debbie's getting her birthday cake. I was ill. Everything with Debbie here makes me snicker. Do we know what happened? Yeah, right. It, it, it's like you can't even take it serious because you know she gets hung the fuck out to dry. Yep. <laughs> so yeah, I will. That, that does make this funnier. I will say that. It does. Uh oh. No mm -hmm. what, what the fuck? What the hell's going on? Pretty cool, huh? This is how the beer gets delivered. But it's a good way of keeping out in, uninvited guests. Dude, you have an underground headquarters? This is insane. This is like the fucking bad game. You ready to meet the rest of the guys? Oh my god. This is the greatest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Welcome to Jim. Oh, Jim Carrey's nice character. You. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love it. Looks like walk in there. Right. <laughs> But he also does look like Jim, too. He does. Oh, he does. He's the got way that. He did his chin and everything, too, mm -hmm. though. He's so good. He looks got that rectangular walk in face. Right, though. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. Okay. The guy in the store said that they don't like dogs. So we need you to stay out here and keep an eye on them, Tommy. No problem, Dad. Now, this little dog costs a lot of money. We go home without him, we're in big trouble. So I don't want him running away. You understand? What if he needs to pee? Being fine, just keep him away from traffic and don't let anyone take and take him walking. I just I, uh, I don't want it, I want bad guys stealing our pooch. You hear me? They won't. Good boy. I'll be in a few minutes. Damn dog costs as much as my first car. Try telling her they're free at the pound, but no, she wanted a bichon fr and frizzy. And, oh, and a battle skill for the little guy, huh? Oh no! <laughs> just like that. That was seven and a half years ago, kick ass. We tried the cops, we tried the newspaper, even set up a thing for the internet for people to help us. But we got nothing. We never saw our little boy again. Again, I came up with the name Remembering Tommy, and we're doing this three nights a week now. Hey, I like that! I do too. Yeah. I know Stripes and the Stars and Lieutenant Stripes said they, and they read about us online. They thought we might like to join the superior team they're putting together. Oh man, that's awful. I'm sorry. Maybe this is a good time for the rest of you guys to introduce yourself. Oh, night, bitch! Oh, <laughs> but he didn't, and uh, Kick-Ass did not invite them. No. no oh, I'm not. Battle Guy. It's Marty, one of his friends! And you told us, man, what a fucked up yeah. asshole. I only hope I get you to say hello to him. Um, but, oh, shit. I knew it. I knew I recognized that voice. I don't know what you're talking about. It's me, you asshole, Dave! <laughs> you two know each other? 
You crazy? We've been friends since we were five. What's all this bullshit about your parents getting killed? I saw your mom at the grocery store this morning. What? <laughs> Thanks a lot, Dave. Is this true? Oh, man, how do I t say this without coming off with a total retard? When I found out you guys online were swapping all these awesome stories, I mean, you and the lieutenant are a couple of ex-mafia guys, for God's sake. I didn't think you let me join unless I was cool, too. Don't be ridiculous. You signed up for this team to look after the neighborhood, battle guy. That's the only thing that matters. Uh, I will say, I do, again, now this is getting better, showing that they had real origins, and while he BSed it, it was just trying to be cool. Right. Trying to That's much more believable the than Big Daddy. Yeah, for sure. Like, come on. It, the way he yeah, losing it, your kid with your kid makes it so much worse. Oh yeah. Um. But yeah, and the night bitch said her sister was found mur murdered and found in a dumpster. It doesn't bring her back, but it makes me feel like I'm doing something positive. I'm just a police officer who got tired of the system. Insect man lets me do the stuff I can't do in my day job. Which you remember we saw um, Red Mist dealing with him and Doctor Gravity. Yes. Yeah. Again, ties it in, showing that these two had some team ups of their own before Dave joined in. Right. Like I, I thought this could be our trophy room, souvenirs from our adventures, like Superman has in his ice fortress and Batman has in his Batcave. I know it isn't much, but this is only the beginning. All we need are a few good men, and we can make a real difference out there. What do you think? Hell yeah, sign me up. Kick ass. It would be an honor. Now let's get the coffee on and figure out our first big mission. That's how the and the Jets League would have been in real life. A bunch of guys with made up names standing around in home stitch costumes he, and learning heat secret handshakes, swapping alter egos, swapping oaths by candlelight, and drawing up their battle plan. Okay, I do like how we're going. We're raising it up where it feels like he's getting what he wanted. Right. He's getting more of the superhero feel and, and day and night life. Yeah. Oh, what the hell? Watch what you're, and what you're and what are you gonna do about Dick Breath? Like, who the <laughs> fuck was that? Ignore him. He's just one of those goss bricks who went on Twitter last night and signed up for Red Mist Supervillain Army. The what? <laughs> Didn't you hear? It's totally pathetic. He said they had to stay clean to his big return, and then they're gonna trash the city together. You serious? Totally. What and what? But how lame is that? Supervillains who aren't allowed to commit a crime? Just a fashion thing, dude. <laughs> oh. Mindy, are you listening? Of course I'm listening. Rachel and, and Finn split up again, and the Glee Club ties section and sectionals with the war warblers. Glee episode nine, season two. Keep talking. Uh, Aw. Uh, it's nothing, Pops. Oh, her was the hallucination still. Yeah. Still seeing. Oh no, 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 sorry. No, wait, that's Dave's dad. Never mind. Oh, okay. But sorry, still, her having them both having blonde hair making it a little off. Yeah. Oh, but he's like, are you and doing drugs? You're not doing drugs, are you? Oh, man. I know, I know, but I have to ask. You're my best little buddy. It scares the hell out of me seeing you get this big. You promise you aren't doing something that's do and, and that would disappoint me? Of course not. I'm sorry, kiddo. You're a good boy. Again, I like his dad. Yeah, his dad's yeah. not bad. Again, yeah. how he, them screwing that one lady at the end was a little off, but for the most part, his dad's a good guy. He just wants what's best for him. Right. Justice forever! Oh, I'm glad you got that out of your system. What are we doing up here anyway? I thought they and they said to meet us on the corner. No way. There's too many people down there. You'll be posing for pictures all night if they see you in costume. Man, how fucking badass is Colonel Stark? He's like old Bruce Wayne from Batman Beyond. Yeah, especially with the dog and everything. I still can't believe we got a couple of ex-mafia guys on the team. How do you get that from that for to being a superhero? Didn't you hear? They're born again Christians! One day they has found the Lord and turned their backs on the mo all that mafia shit. Now they use their skill to fight the bad guys and make up for all the evil stuff they used to do. How awesome is that? I just hope they're fit enough for all the mis missions. Did you hear the car the colonel coughing last night? Do you think he can handle this? I guess we're about to find out. Oh, ready to go in. <laughs> oh, and boys, I don't mean to be a prude, but do you think we could tone the language down a little? I don't think cursing, cursing sets a very good example. Wait, I just zoned out for a second. Do you, and did you say we're up against six gangsters? Good evening, young man. I'd like a word with Jimmy Kim, if you don't mind. What the fuck? Get your ass out here at... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Again with the F-bombs. What's with the young people these days? Jesus! 
Lieutenant, I want you right behind me. Every else, everyone else, take and take out the strays. <laughs> Shit, we're being raided. Oh, uh, oh, oh my God! Who the hell are you, people? Neighborhood watch. Sophia, get in here, girl. Of course, in the movie, there's a dog on your balls with an improv. Right. You gotta be kidding me. Do you look like guys with a sense of humor? Oh! It's, the, <laughs> it's time we had a little talk, Mr. Kim. But yeah, see, again, this is them at their high point. All right. Please, you want money? There's 50 fucking grand on that table. Just take what you want and leave us alone. You think you'll buy us, Jimmy? You think you could bribe us with your little piece of the paper? We don't, we're not here to, we didn't come here to steal from you, scumbag. We came here to send a message to all the other par parasites in the neighborhood. Jesus, man, I got a heart condition. I can't get overexcited. So tell us where the girls are locked up. Upstairs in the apartment, my little brother's on the till. Go easy on him, man. He's a college kid. Kick ass. I'm on it. Holy uh -huh. shit. Please, I don't have any weapons. Even better. Uh, <laughs> like, come on, we're getting you out of here. I know you. I, I know we look weird, but we're here to help. Sorry, our English is not good. We don't understand. Doesn't matter. There's a woman outside who could take you, tell you everything. She works for a support group and she's taking you to a safe house. But we can't leave here. We don't have any money. How much money did they have on the table? 50 grand. You do now. Hmm. Come on, we don't have much time. Again, this feels like a fully realized idea. Yeah. Oh, for sure. You know You're what I mean? Right. It's fun. It like, feels like they're actually the yeah. full idea and plan it through and actually get it down instead of just going in half cock. Yeah, exactly. And they're being a team. They have it played out. Having the social workers there. Good idea. For mm -hmm. sure. Jesus <laughs> Christ, my fucking balls. Well, not anymore. You all, got, mm -hmm. you all got up late tonight. Did I hear any more stories about this place? And we're coming back to burn it down. You hear me? Come on, Sophia. Chow time's over. Oh, my God. That was amazing. Nice work, team. I can't believe it. When you pulled a gun on that guy, were you really going to shoot him? I'll let you in on a little secret, kid. The guns are empty. We carry them for show. What? <laughs> the bad guys don't need to know that. Awesome. And look at that. Soup kitchens and all that. That's funny. Yeah. Being Again, this is good. Showing them reaching their high point before it comes crashing down. All right. A oh, moon girl, a girl in Chelsea called Moonbird. We uh, carried a taser and a can of mace. Social activist called the Enforcer. They now are twelve members strong. Damn. Seemed kind yeah. of shitty not to get um, um, Todd involved. Oh, this week goes by ass kicker. <laughs> Meeting tonight at midnight, Mindy. You coming? Would you stop asking me to come to your stupid club? You know I'm not allowed. What are you talking about? You're like a freaking ninja, man. Just wait till your folks are asleep and sneak out the window. You don't understand. I made a promise I wouldn't get involved, and I have to honor that promise. Again, this folks, this works both with the on its own and with the interquill here. Yeah. Yeah. I think like, it now works. get now get the hell away from me, huh? Is there any problem here, Mindy? Uh, shit, I need to go. Mindy, wait. In the car, honey, please. And please, honey. Dude, quit arguing with your 12-year-old girlfriend. You're looking like a fucking ultra pedo. Uh, okay, that. That was gross. Yeah. That was too much. Uh-oh. Uh-oh is right. Papa Duke's found you. Oh, fuck. Is that what you've been up to while I've been working nights? Dressing up and fighting people? What are you doing in my room? You should have been going through my stuff. I was looking for drugs because I worried about you. But now I know why you've been sleeping in school. This isn't how it looks. All I did was make the costume. Don't lie. I found everything. The sticks, the boots, all the little news clippings you've been hiding in your graphic novels. Jesus, Dave. Drugs would have been better. This is perverted. <laughs> what kind of people are you involved with here? Superheroes. What? We're superheroes, Dad. We wear costumes under our clothes and we, are, we risk our lives for strangers. I'm proud of what I do out there. I don't wear the mask because I'm ashamed. Oh my God, you've lost your mind. <clears throat> what, because I don't sit at home every night watching bullshit TV? You think I want to end up like you? What's that supposed to mean? What do you think it means? Where the hell are you going? I'm not finished talking. Really? Because I'm totally done. Jesus, Dave. Right, that's your I mean, daddy, dog. <laughs> okay, he's, he's full of pride. He loves what he's doing, but his dad is also right. Exactly. 100%. His dad knows he's Shit. not good enough for this. 
Just because he can't feel pain doesn't mean he should be a superhero. Yep. Look, yeah, I know it looks like a piece of old car and furniture. That's why I built the new top and top for the fort, smart ass. Now let's just hope I cut it right. I don't want those edges overlapping. There. What do you think, Sophia? You figure the guys will like it? Sophia? Sorry, man. Dog's dead. What the uh, hell? I gotta say, I prefer Mother Russia in the movie than this one. Yeah, me too. I don't like that. Get the hell out of here, you crazy bitch! Get out or I'll drop you where you goddamn stand! No, you fucking well. Duh! Superheroes don't shoot shit like that. Right, boss? That's right, sweetheart. Bullets in the head are pre uh, preserved for the supervillain. Or toxic mega cunt, as I like to call our little gang. <laughs> I remember you from the old days, don't I? You used to be Selber and Patrolli, didn't you? I think you and your brother did some jobs for my dad back before you got all in that board again, crap. So is this how you thought you'd die, Sal? Dressed like an idiot surrounded by comic book merchandise? Who the hell are you? Well, I used to be called Red Myth, and I'm here to send a message to the asshole who killed my father. I had a plan to travel the world and learn what I need to fuck them up. But then I realized I could pay people for someone to fight my battle. Yeah, no shit, he's not going to tell people what really happened. Exactly. And this is Mother Russia, and she used to be a bodyguard for Vladimir Putin. You want me to finish? Not yet. I want to trash the place first. I want to fuck up all this, this stupid shit. Was right. this where you were going to put all your little souvenirs, Sal? Were these the shelves your trophies were going to be on? What are, and what, are, and what age are you, dude? This is pathetic. You still want me to write Red Mist on the wall? No, all rest with the old me. Uh, Red Mist is dead and, oh, God! Oh, that's crazy. That's, I yeah. can't. Mm -mm. I just want to murder them. To Long like live out. the motherfucker. The Jesus mother. Christ. Just get these guys out of here, huh? I do like how, again, if you didn't read Hit Girl, you think Vic is a good cop. Right. Yeah. yeah but we know he's realize. on the take. Right. You don't realize that he is not a yeah. good cop. But at the same time, no, he's also, yes, he's crooked. He's corrupt. He's a piece of shit. But even again, he's still not the worst of the villains. No. It's like he still has a relatable side because he is doing it for family reasons. But it's still yeah. like... And then he's going to go overboard by three. Trust me, by three, sick. he crosses the line. Right. And then it's also like, yeah, the other people are worse, but it's still bad. It's bad enough. Yep. But yeah, hit girl, now she's all ticked up. Mind Bindi, what are you doing? It's the moment we've been waiting for, Marcus. Red Miss is back in town. We need to hunt this fucker down and make him wish his dad had finished on it, finished on his mother's dead. We need to know, what is. Is, and send a message to those cocksuckers that New York superheroes are not to be fucked with. Honey, <laughs> I know your dad used to let you watch all these action movies and you think that kind of talk is normal, but I don't want you using those words anymore. And you're actually forbidden from being hit girl again. They cut a guy's head off, for God's sake. Who else is going to stop him? Kick ass? The rest of these pussies he hangs around with? Jesus, Mindy, you're an 11-year-old child. What makes you think that this is your responsibility? The cops are ha handling this, and you've got homework to do. Now switch off the news and go to your room. You know mom gets upset when there's bad stuff on TV. Now! Fine! <laughs> oh, Daddy, why did you teach me to be so damn obedient? Your dad's still pissed at you? Yeah, we're like, I mean, we're both big sul sulkers, so we all we've been doing is walking around the apartment in total silence. So can't believe he found his co your costume. I can't believe what an asshole he's being. I'm practically an adult, man. If I want to be a superhero, there's nothing he could do about it. He's just worried about you, dude. This is dangerous shit we're involved with. My mom wouldn't let me out of the house if she knew what we were doing. Your pals are and, and your pals are through the back, uh, back boys. Just try not to disturb the other customers, huh? Hey guys, we're signing a sympathy card for the lieutenant here. You want to go and give five? You want to get five bucks so we can send flowers for the team? Absolutely. Any word how he's doing? I dropped him a couple of texts, but I didn't hear anything back. Spoke to him last night. He could hardly talk. He sends things for the messages and stuff, but he's got some family things he needs to do for the funeral tomorrow. Remember, they were, uh, Lieutenant and Colonel were brothers, remember? Yeah. Yes. Did you guys hear And Red Mist calling himself now? He changed his name to the uh, motherfucker. It's pathetic. Sounds about right. So what do we do about these assholes? Should we organize a fight and kick their asses? A lot of guys online said they're and that they're and they're there if we need them. Don't be ridiculous. This isn't the playground. I'm not going to have some idiotic rumble in Central Park. 
We did this. I mean, we didn't start this thing to form a gang, doctor. We're supposed to be helping people. Shannon's right. We need to leave this to the cops and just all, keep doing what we always do. Well, we better stop break, walking in pairs, man, since the villain just said this is only the beginning. Is this where she lives? Uh-oh, this is where they're going for Kate. Katie. Right. Straight to the house. You know, and they in the movie they went was night bitch because Katie just got written off. But right. are you guys superheroes? Oh God! <laughs> he just shot the kids. All right. That's crazy. That is oh, but look at this. Oh come on. Oh come on. So why Carly loses a few viewers? Give me a fucking break. Wow. Now tear this place apart <laughs> while I go find his whore. Do you think do you do you, and do what you and you you like till I say you can stop? Roger that, boss man. Die, you bastard. And they shoot up the entire group. Uh, Did you, so you hear that, Katie? We're coming to get you, sweetheart. Geez. Oh, 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 get upstairs. I'll handle this. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, because your dad's bull. Because dads are bulletproof. <laughs> We're here to send a message to your boyfriend, Katie. Let kick ass know he should never have pissed on my lawn. What are you talking about? I don't even know kick ass. Don't lie to me, bitch. He told us everything when we were frying his fucking balls. Please, you got the wrong person. You're mistaking me for somebody else. Oh. Uh, cop show up. How much is she costing us again? 50 grand a week plus expenses. What the fuck? She's packing. Get your ass down. the fuck, though? Oh, jeez. And this this definitely happened in the movie. Right? This is a pretty crazy scene. She tries to, like, walk down the cops, doesn't she? Oh, right in the legs, too! Right. Oh! <laughs> oh, gee. Those panels are sick, though. I did yep. Like on those. Oh, and they, they, they gang-raped her! Oh, my God. That's so ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Uh, come on, we need to get out of here before they send more cops. Shit, where did you say you got this woman? She used to run security for the Russian prime minister. Why the hell did they let her go? Because one night she got drunk and slaughtered the rest of the bodyguards. I heard they accused her of cheating at cards. Wow, can you imagine what she's going to do to hit girl? A and kick ass. Don't forget that skinny fuck. I hold them both responsible for killing him. I got to say, though, that's smart. Getting someone as bad as it hurt to deal with hit girl. Yeah, for real, though. Someone yep, what a freaking mess. Yeah. Uh, I'll tell you what's going on. Us closing these goddamn freaks down. The feds that trace the IP dresses from their older Facebook and Twitter account. We got 500 men hitting these nuts all at the same time. Why is kick -Ass on the list? The crew he's running with isn't part of this shit. Oh, yeah? Uh, oh, yeah? Well, I wouldn't be so sure, Marcus. His old best friend was a superhero, too. And now he's shooting toddlers in the face. Oh, crap! They're connecting him with Red Mist. <laughs> <laughs> they know. Now, go remember, Vic knows who that is, but he, he's probably realizing Chris has lost his mind. <laughs> he knows. Oh, man, they've arrested right. so many of them. Dad had warned me this was going to happen. This is exactly what he said was coming next. Shit, Dave, what have you done? Yep. Oh, gee, this is all my fault. They targeted her to get to me. This is my fucking fault. Can you believe that? Come on, man, you don't know that. How could she and he know and know your secret identity? They were torturing me, dude. I could have said anything. Why else would they have done this? Think about it. Why else would they have specifically gone for Katie? A lot of people got hurt back there. It could have been a coincidence. Oh, shit. Forget the bitch. It's your old man you should be worried about, you prick. Mm. Oh, jeez. He then turns himself in, claiming he's kick-ass. Oh, oh, shit. Shoot. The dad, right? Yeah. Yeah. And dad! What the hell were you thinking? Shouldn't I be the one saying that? I can't believe you lied to them. This is insane. What are you talking about? I'm not going to stand back and watch my son go to jail. Dad, please, just tell them the truth. Do you realize what they'll do if you keep saying you're kick-ass? I've spoken to my attorney. They can't do a thing. You haven't committed any act an actual crime, so they have to release me inside 48 hours. I'm not talking yeah. about the cop, Dad. Please, for God's sake. The villains yeah. know who I am now. <clears throat> Um, and they put Katie in the hospital, and they aren't going to stop until we're all fucking dead. Dave, listen to me. Listen to what I'm saying, because it is very important. We can deal with this. The police are out there right now, and their type of priority is taking this gang down. They've murdered almost 30 people. Do you really think the cops are going to let that carry on? Now, I want you to stay at Marty's house till this all gets straightened out. 
I don't want you back at our place either. And you can't go into school for a little while. I can't believe I had you put I, I had you put in jail. It doesn't matter, son. What's done is done. You have to just you just have to promise that it's all gonna stop. I don't know why you got mixed up with these people, but I need you to assure me that you're never gonna dress up in those stupid clothes again. I promise. Oh God, I'm sorry, Dad. I'm fucking sorry for getting you locked up in this horrible place. Hey, come on, take it easy. I'm a big tough guy. I can handle these goons. <laughs> Everything's gonna be fine. So what you think, dude? Jeez. Oh yeah. boy. Yeah. I don't want to see you throwing money away, Chris. I'm just shopping for I don't try to say you know, like, yeah, don't blow off all the money. Detective Gigante Perfect. on the phone for you, motherfucker. Uncle Vic, man, that's awesome. I haven't spoken to him since I got back. You need to come over and see my new place, Uncle Vic. I've been building all these crazy death traps and said, Chris, this needs to stop. I can turn a blind eye when it's killing for business. But you've gone over the edge, kid. Your father's old friends are very concerned. They're asking me to bring you in. Of course they are. They're afraid of me. Man, we're here to replace them and tear their fucking system down. Did you hear our plans for the bankers and the celebrities? Oh, man, wait till you hear what we're going to do with the New York on Friday night. Chris, yep. this, is a, this isn't a goddamn game. I'm calling you to say you're on your own now. You understand? You're not getting special treatment anymore. We're targeting you like any other um, little scumbag after this. Fine. Yep. Fuck you. See what I mean? <laughs> no, again, it's like, yes, he's crooked. But even he's saying, this is crazy, you stupid shit. <laughs> right. Way too much. <laughs> yeah. Even they, it was too crazy. Uh, actually, I, I've been thinking about Lewaski's father being in jail. Maybe this is no bad thing. What are you talking about? The asshole got away scot-free. We don't even know where he is anymore. No, but you know where his father is. Oh, shit. Hmm. Oh, anything from Hit Girl yet? I'm just a text saying we need to leave this to the cop. I doubt my dad being in trouble might make a difference. But I'm starting to realize she may, maybe she doesn't give a shit. What's okay. up? I don't know. Someone's trying to send me a picture. I said, oh, fuck. What's wrong? Oh, Jesus Christ. What is it? What's happening? It's dad. Oh. Oh, shit. Do you know what I mean about this being the Empire Strikes Back? It's yeah, so for real. Hung life. and beaten and stabbed. Right. They just made a full-on example of this, man. I, I, I have no clear memory of what happened next. Somebody said the picture went viral, and all the supervillains were online making jokes about how funny he looked as his poor body dangled there. The motherfucker declared three-day ceasefire to celebrate my loss. Describing Dad's death as a useless and pathetic sacrifice from a sad, forgettable man. My secret identity was released on Twitter. Justice Forever was free from prison with all the other super people once they realized they had nothing to do with what they saw in Katie's neighborhood. The only condition was they wouldn't wear their kasha again, and a citywide ban was established on masks and capes. The villains promised they wouldn't interfere with the funeral proceeding, but I was so doped up, doped up on sleeping pills, I had no idea what was happening anyway. Marty said I just stood there smiling. Rocking gently and talking to myself, but inside I was dying. When I closed my eyes, I made things worse by trying to imagine the final moments. Jesus, dude. Yeah, he's got I love you, kiddo. Love, love you too, doggy daddy. Aww. Why were we getting slaughtered like this when we were only trying to help people? Dude, can I just say how sorry I am? Your dad was totally awesome. All the guys really liked him. Thanks, Todd. It's appreciated, man. Uh, and Dave, I hope you don't mind us showing up uninvited, but the team and I wanted to pay our respect. We'll, we'll love to help you find those punks, but we just got on parole last night, and they'll toss us in prison if we ever wear our costume again. Don't worry, I'm not looking for revenge. I'm actually going to stay with my cousin in Connecticut for a while. Why don't and, and while for a while, little while? I don't want to be involved in this anymore. You serious? You killed my dad, man. All these people got murdered in their house last week. What else was going to happen before I give up this shit? The cops said I'm inflaming things, so I'm going to lie low for a little while. Trust me, it's for the best. Marcus said it was the only way to calm things down. I know. I hope you don't you don't hate me for not helping out. I hope you don't blame me for everything with your dad. Not even a little. You were right. I was totally wrong, Mindy. The only person I blame for all this is myself. What the fuck? Dave, get down! Oh, shoot. Holy Mindy! Holy shit! Grab and grab the kid. We don't have much time. What the hell? Get him in the truck. Move. Would you take a fucking hint? The gates are closed. Hold on tight. Hell yeah. 
Get, and get out of the way, you idiots. What are you doing? What do you want with me? <coughs> We're kidnapping you, you uh, your ass. What does it look like? You're coming in back to ours for the worst night of your life, asshole. You're about mm. to re- re- get a ringside site for Manhattan's big atrocity. I don't care. There's nothing you can do to hurt me anymore. I can feel any worse than I do right now. Want to mm-hmm. bet? Give him costume. The boss wants him dressed when he gets back to the base. This won't be a- a- any fun if he isn't dressed like kick ass. Boom! What the <laughs> fuck? Jesus Christ! Mm. Mindy! What the hell happened to my gun? Game on, motherfuckers. <laughs> I think I love that fight in the movie. Yeah. Yeah, that was you know, the car fight. Yeah. She's on the roof. Swerve the truck. Right. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are you playing at, retard? These were innocent people you almost hit. <laughs> the cheese back. You didn't have to go that hard on them. Damn. Yep. It's a furniture <laughs> warehouse in the Bronx. There's a sign outside saying home supply. Four, uh, 461 Commercial Street. Thank you. What the hell happening? What are you doing? What the fuck's going on? Relax, doofus. The cavalry's behind the wind, the, the wheel. Now get in the costume and straighten yourself out. We're going to go finish this, these goons off once and for all. No, I don't want to get in the costume. It's my dad's fucking funeral, you crazy bitch. Get in the yep. costume and grow a pair, kick ass. It's time to stop taking shit from these people. Damn straight. Yep. Oh, man, look at this. I don't think it's moved since we've had it delivered. Uh, sharks! What the fuck? <laughs> I don't think sharks like being kept in a tank, which was they use in the movie. Right, though. Never mind. We still got kick-ass to play with. Here's Kevin and the guys back now. What's up, kick-ass? You ready to get your teeth pulled out? Oh, man, I'm so looking forward to this. Oh, <laughs> shit. Hey, you, you do look... You do the big guy. I'll kill everyone else. Right. And you do the big guy. I'll kill everyone else. Right. Jesus, what are you doing? Teaching you cocksuckers a lesson. But she's the real deal compared to everyone else. Exactly. She's the one that knows her shit. Yep. Now, is everybody listening carefully? Oh, God, please. And kick ass stop. You have to believe me. I shut up. You and you were with him at Katie's house. I saw some of the footage. I saw you laughing your ass off and trashing Katie's bedroom. Were you laughing when you decided to, he, and, and when you were going to hang my dad? Were you one of the pricks making jokes on that supervillain form? So long, shithead. Enjoy being fish food. What the hell's up with that shark? Uh, 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 doesn't matter. Psh, oh, God. Start talking, fuck knuckle. Where's your boss and what's he got planned? Fuck you. Excuse me. Those families we killed over at the East Street side was just a worn up skank. We put and we put the word out for all followers to pull on masks and do something crazy tonight. We're gonna rock your world till it falls down. You think I'm gonna betray the big plan because there's a gun in my face? Fair enough. Kick ass, fetch me a pair of pliers. I'm gonna start with the cunt's fingernails. What? <laughs> They're hitting Times Square at eight. Our informant says they're targeting the biggest loss of civilian life since 9-11. So we need to get as many cops down there as we can, Marcus. Mindy, this is insane. I don't even know what and where you are. What's going on? Where have you been? We have holed up in one of Dad's old safe house. But don't try telling us to hand ourselves in. You know that can't happen until these lunatic pricks are in custody. I promise I'll come home as soon as we're done. But we're only going to get one shot at this. Can you guarantee a huge pr- and police presence in the area? I'll do my best. That's good enough for me. This is bullshit. I don't even know why I'm setting this. The superheroes out there are never going to help us. The cops said they'll throw them in jail if they ever saw them in costume again. Why would they take a chance like that for a bunch of tall strangers? Dude, there's a gang of supervillains threatening Times Square. These real-life superheroes have been waiting their entire life for a call like this. Besides, they're only being asked to be on standby. We're letting the cops take the lead here, remember? What the hell's up with these freaks anyway? Why do they always want to burn the city down? Don't they even know what that means? Chris Genovese got an asthma, for God's sake. Where's he going to get his medicine if he burns down all the drugstore and goddamn hospitals? I it's pathetic. I actually think that through. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's pathetic. I hate shit like this. I just heard it and heard it in a superhero movie and thought it sounded cool. Christ. They're all, and they're all just such fucking assholes. It's okay <laughs> to set a shed a tear, Dave, but going full pussy like this is completely unacceptable. They killed your dad and raped your girlfriend. Are you really going to sit here blabbing, blubbing like a bitch at the Oscars? <laughs> Good. Now let's and now let and now let's tool the fuck up and go kill some low lives. Yeah. I will say this: one thing I liked in the movie 
was kick ass wearing Big Daddy's uh, armor. They don't do that here, but I like that in the movie. Yeah, give them that. <clears throat> Someone must have tipped them off. There must be a hundred cops down there. How are we supposed to fuck everyone up with all these armored armed police standing around? Relax. They won't be there for long. Did they take them by him in Lewinsky's apartment? That's the signal everyone's waiting on. <laughs> now hit the comic stores uh, all at the same time. The only way this works is they're all done simultaneously. Gotcha! Oh, God, are you seeing all these calls coming in? That's not exposure in less than nine minutes. What the fuck's going on? Times Square, what the hell is he talking about? They're hitting everywhere except Times Square. Pour our guys out there and get them to where they're needed. That stupid prick market just got taken for a ride. Uh Uh-oh. Can't you see what they're doing here? They're leaving us with nobody to defend this fight. The fires are just distractions, man. They're trying to get us out of here. Oh, my God. Shit. And Marcus, I see him. Jesus Christ, how many of them are there? And make and fuck them up and bad. Kill these cocksuckers. I got to say, there was no way in hell they could shoot this in the movie. No way in fucking hell were you going to be able to do this in Times Square. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> There's no freaking way. Yeah, but um, I have, oh, Chris Genovese, what the hell? Give it up, bitch. <laughs> Like, oh man, are you really this stupid? Have you really come out here to see? Uh, to, and when I'm out here with my gang, there's two of you and a hundred of us, dickhead. And don't go counting on the cops showing up. We sent them all on wild goose chases. Are you really such a couple of dumbasses? Do you seriously think uh, have such a heart on to die? No, that's why we asked our friends along. Oh no, Avengers fucking assemble, asshole! What's the matter, Chris? <laughs> you shitting yourself? You should be. Don't try and take the bar of high ground with me, you sanctimonious prick. What are you talking about? You murdered my fucking dad. So, you murdered my dad, too. You raped my girlfriend, you asshole. She wasn't your girlfriend, kick ass. She already even knew who you were. In fact, she said you've been stalking her since the third grade. What kind of weirdo stalked bitches at eight? Shouldn't you have been in the turtles or something? Drop dead. Oh good, <laughs> but so yeah, same time. Know, right? It works. Yeah. Would one of you pussies at least throw a punch? <laughs> what are you standing around for? Take him down. You ready for this? Absolutely. Ha! Right, Mindy, suck my balls, you goss prick. Oh, it's a goss kid. <laughs> all, all units, leave the fires to the rescue teams and reconvene on Times Square. We need every cop in a five mile radius and riot squad down here fast. You think the superheroes are going to hold them off, Vic? Superheroes? What the hell, Jackie? Have you any idea how ridiculous you sound? Hmm. I've seen some of your fights online. I've seen some of your fights online. You're good, but you rely on weapons too much. Obviously, you need to compensate for your size. But when and what happens when someone takes away your t- your toys away? Huh? Fuck. I am former Spence Nat, former KGB officer, trained in, ju- in judo, jet kwando, all those traits. Out. Your father, the comic book collector, the idiot I work for is so damn afraid of you. Can you believe he hired me to protect him from a little girl? This war he's waging is such bullshit too, but he pays well. I'll give him that. Like, you know what I get, to we- I get for wearing this costume? How much I get for murdering you? Ah! Sorry, we just came here to hide for somewhere to hide, and uh, what? Uh, uh, what? Da! Ah, motherfucker! <laughs> shouldn't have turned your back on me, bitch. Not right. sure. Uh, uh, I don't. Relax. I'm just making yeah. sure she's definitely dead. Cut her freaking dome off. I gotta say, I can prefer the movie where she makes it look like she's gonna stab her with poison, so she jabs it into her, but it turns into hit girl, but it was adrenaline. Right, though. I, like I prefer that. that than this. Yeah. Again, there's a few moments in the movie that are better here than here. Yeah. But then, but for the most part, this is better than the movie. Yeah, well, they translated a little bit better to the screen, but these bands yeah. look sick. Yep. Keep them away from the public. Don't stop fighting. We got to hold them till the cops get here. You're going nowhere, you piece of shit. Get off of Get the hell away from me. Of course, he's a pussy. After all these people you hurt, after everything you did to my dad, I've waited months for this. You hear those screams? That's your pals getting their ass kicked. You hear those sirens? That's the cops here to take you fucks to jail. You, you're finished, you prick. This shit is over. Like, we did it, dude. We beat their asses. Finish him, kick ass. Put that bitch in the ground. 
No, he's going to jail. That's the difference between him and us. We're superheroes. Shame the cops haven't realized. What are you talking about? Oh, no. All they see is a big gang of freaks in costume. Officer, please, we're the ones who protected everyone. We do. What are you and what are you doing? You're supposed to be on our side. <clears throat> oh, <clears throat> Stop great. him. He's getting away. Would you fuck off? Get back here, you idiot. <laughs> Get back here and fight me. Oh, what are you doing, man? Are you insane? The cops are all over the street down there. You need to we need to lie low for a while. Fuck you. I'm here to I'm here to I'm here to help the cops, asshole. You're the freaking psycho. I'm putting you in jail for the rest of your life. 50 grand. I'll give you 50 grand to just walk away. Not interested. Yeah. Wait a second. Seriously, I really think you did something to my balls back there. Ah! You <laughs> prick! You total fucking prick! What the hell's wrong with you? Just fucking die! <laughs> Dave, can you hear me? I'm pretty messed up, but I don't think it's as bad as it looks. <laughs> I'll be an ambulance. I promise I won't tell you what you're, how you lost your temper. I promise I won't get you in trouble. I just really hurt. I need to go to the hospital. I can't feel my legs. I'm so fucking scared. Please, I won't even minutes, mention say. you, dude. Nobody needs to know you totally freaked out on me. <laughs> Shit. I can't believe I'm doing this. I must be on my freaking mind. Let Emergency services? I'm I, need, I need an ambulance on Fifth and Broadway. Call them in. What the hell? Jesus. Look, that guy must have pushed him off the roof. Shit. Uh-oh. <laughs> leave, leave it to the big boys. Huh? Hit girl. Want, uh, head back to the base and wait with the others. I'll meet you there in an hour. What the fuck? Dude, they're only smoke bombs. Nothing to get excited about. Stop her. Get her away from the cars. Sorry, Chief, but I need us more than you do. Oh, my God. Don't let her near me. She's going to fucking kill me, man. Looks like you're, yeah. fuck, you're a lucky day, asshole. I got bigger fish to fry now. Guards, uh, she saved me, just like the soap you're supposed to do. Go, hit girl, go! But... Look what he does. Oh, for Christ's sake. All this fuss over a little girl. Gigante, what are you doing? She's a superhero, right? You really think she's going to kill a cop? Get off the road, dickwad. Get off the goddamn road. Shit, now she doesn't know he's crooked. Right. Mm. Not yet. I like that, though. Right. Hey, he's smart enough to know this. Right. That she doesn't know yet. There. Now that wasn't so hard, was it? Don't, of course, he's being arrested. It's very, uh, don't worry. I never heard a uniform. It's very noble of you, young lady, but I really don't give a shit. Do you understand exactly how much trouble you're in right now? I don't care. A superhero doesn't think about their own safety. All that matters is that we saved these people and nailed the motherfucker's gang. You're not a superhero. You're a little girl with a personality disorder. When are you going to get that through your thick skull? <laughs> time Square is under the control again, sir. About God, about damn time. Oh, boy, they go and hide, of course. You okay? I got kicked in the head, but I didn't hurt so, and it didn't hurt so bad. Todd thought he'd been stabbed, but it turns out it was to be someone else's blood. I can't freak the shit out of me, man. I'm not kidding. So now they got to lay low for a while. <laughs> but everyone, you rock! Justice forever! All <laughs> right, way to go, hit girl! Uh, what the hell's going on here, and Br Br Bracco? I have absolutely no idea. Mindy! Mindy! What the hell do you want, detective? Thick place. I know this looks crazy, but Mindy's my stepdaughter. If I could just get in a minute to explain. What? You knew about this? You knew who these lunatics were? Police de and place Detective Williams under arrest and charge him with conspiracy and de the dereliction of duty. Get him the away from here now! Thick, just give me two minutes! I'm sorry, Marcus. Tell Mom I couldn't be more sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your support. It's been an honor to serve. Hmm. And that's it. Oh my God. Damn. How that's was that? Channel right there. Mm. I like you know, it. I, I, I think, think it was that, not as good as Hit Girl, but a step up from the first mini. I yeah. think that the uh, artwork was better than Hit Girl, but I do oh, yeah. think that the story was a little bit more cohesive in Hit Girl. Well, yeah, because but this. <clears throat> It was definitely Empire. Let's be honest. This was Empire. Oh, for sure. Yeah. For freaking sure. And again, even here, while we do know Vic is dirty to a point, again, he's still trying to keep things in line. Yeah. Right. 
I think it's playing up the notion of, yes, they're dirty cops, but they're not, like, pure evil. Right. It's like they they do still have a reason for what they're doing, you know? Yep. And, so, but, and he wants to still keep his place in power, too, of course. Of course. So is that kind of like, yes, he's an asshole. But right. he's not but the he, asshole that you make out to be in movies and everything. Right. But he also kind of needs to be an asshole. You know what yep. I mean? Like I said, he gets worse by the third one. By the third one, he's the one of the he's the final boss. Yeah, so it's like he needs to be an asshole right now. He, yeah, he but here to, though, yeah. this moment is actually pretty awesome for him. Like he know he's taking a risk. He is. He's definitely taking a risk, but it's still like he knows what's gonna happen in the end. Like he knows that she doesn't realize he's fucking dirty, so he still has the upper hand right now. Exactly. And again, what he says to her is what any cop would have said. Oh, yeah, for sure. And even him locking up um, um, Marcus. He's locking up the stepdad. It's still. Because it's like, yeah, you knew? Life. Right. And again, yeah, real life. Them. And I'm sorry, real life, cops wouldn't care. Heroes or villains, you're all crazies. Right. You're all going to okay, jail else. either way. Yeah, because that's what would happen. For sure. Yeah, you're all going. I think this is playing the realism. Um, more balanced yeah definitely the this first the different. first book went way too realistic to the point where it was stupid cynicism this one it's keeping it still real world but not going like where everyone's an asshole and everyone you know yeah yeah where it's just over the top for every character yeah, this one yeah. Is a bit more reined in i think that i like they've done it especially with the cops, like the like yeah. small part of their backstory, or they're not that bad. But it's like, then do that for everybody, and they don't, you know, because they're they're crapping all over Hit Girl's dad still. And yeah, I get it, he sucks. But it's like, if you're gonna try to make the cops look good, and make everybody look good, because truth is, there are still dirty cops. I don't see a lot of superheroes running around. Exactly. But yeah. I see a lot of dirty cops still running around. Yeah. So like and boy though, Red Mist was just pathetic. Oh, it was yeah. terrible. It was bad seeing what he did. Like story at all, ever. Yeah, but I'm saying though, he is just pathetic. He is a wuss. Yeah, for real though. And look at what he's saying stuff like, dude, we're both gonna get it. Like he's trying to blame it. It's like you went crazy on me. It's like, dude, shut up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand uh why things went so far with uh, the Russian too? Oh, the, the Russian, yeah. yeah. Red Mist definitely went far. I do love the scene where he's just like laying there, like, uh, Dave. I think I heard. Yeah, that was funny. Like, that was funny. This I don't really think it's hurts. as bad as if. You're right. I don't think yeah, exactly. Just like, <laughs> he's such a wuss. You're right, it but it's fucking hilarious. I do like how the, even the Russians, it's like, she don't believe in this shit. She's just doing it because right. she's being paid. Exactly. Yeah. Again, yeah. that is realistic okay. too, though. You would never keep someone like her, especially working for you, unless it was for money. You know, for money. Yeah. Yeah, you would never want her working for you unless it was for money too. Well, yeah. His but problems, said, though, he just goes with his money and right. nothing else and so he doesn't have any loyalty right and i also <laughs> say though um like i said i prefer how kick girl takes her out in the movie that was better over the top but better than this where it's just whoops don't yeah, turn your back on me this was gruesome like oh it's Jesus. gruesome yes but pulled her out but i also loved how in the movie she stabs her with all this glass and then she says in russian I thought, like, wait, what's wrong, C-word? I thought you could take all these little pricks. <laughs> <laughs> all that glass stabbed in her. Yeah. That's better than this. It really is, though. And again, hilarious. she tricks her into giving her the advantage. Here, it's a fluke. Right. But she, but I think that's why I really like Hit Girl, because it's not like this is the first time she's, like, jumped up surprised or it's it's like oh yeah like this I, it's it's on brand for her you know right. it is oh yeah it is it is but like i said though i thought the movie was a little bit better or more satisfying yeah there was definitely more substance to it instead of yeah but um but again just 
Okay, no way in hell would this been done in a movie. No way, especially with the yeah. budget they had. No way. No. That's when they kept it to the warehouse. Yeah, you would have had to still do it on a screen or uh, or, or like in a studio. Do you yeah. realize how much it costs to keep it at night to have Times exactly. Square to yourself? You would not be able to do it. <laughs> you wouldn't be able to do it. Especially yeah. like for days of filming, even if it's only... Dude, that would take days. days to do this. Right. Yeah, yeah it wouldn't work. Yeah, exactly. I mean, heck, I don't think even the Avengers shot in Times Square. No, they faked it. That's why yeah. they the Avengers Tower. <laughs> exactly. But again, no, this definitely felt, even the ending, this is so much the Empire, does it? Just even this ending is Empire Strikes Back. They're on the run. They won, but they lost. Yeah. Yep. And her girl's going to jail. Yep. yep. She's going away. And now... We see how she gets out and how things get way. Actually, worse. waiting do you see how things go for her in the third one whenever we get to that? Oh, I'm sure it's going to be insane. Okay. Oh, uh, I won't spoil it because it's going to be funny to watch. Nice. But yeah, so, how, okay, so, so far with these ones, how would you rank the mini so far? One, hit girl, and two. I'm still at like seven and a half, seven ish. You know, so this yeah. is below well, Hit Girl, but above the crazy. first one. Exactly. Like, but just barely. You know, right. around like 7.1, 7.2 territory. <laughs> like, yeah, the, uh, with ratings, it's hard. <laughs> but like, I uh, I know that the Hit Girl ones we did were my favorite. Yeah, they this were one is, is almost on par with it, but not fully. Right. I do exactly. Work improvement. Uh, yep. And like I said, the the hit girls fell in the gas, but then it raises more questions. Yeah. Right. But then this does the same freaking thing. You know? Yeah. It does. It's like it answers some questions, but then it brings up more questions. Exactly. Exactly. But again, just overall, this was just interesting. I do like all the heroes showing up. That was great. Definitely. Yeah. But, they're, yeah. yeah Avengers like fucking a sample. Right, yeah. though. Like I like the brutality of it, but I like the kitschiness of it too. So this is as big as it gets for like this is the only actual superhero brawl we will get in the in the in the series. Right. They went all because the next out. one is back down to ground level again. <laughs> but it makes sense <laughs> though for this being the point of the, the crossing the threshold. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Because now you can go after the main fucker. Well, right. not just that though, but also the cops now feel like okay, this whole superhero is going too far. Right. It's like, but now it's it's going to go into actually having to keep your identity hidden and actually trying to stay underground. Exactly. Because they're not going to stop. Dave's not going to stop. No. no. Just like you couldn't stop before. Just, yeah, he tried to for his dad, but I, I feel bad for his dad. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, that's a shitty as one. Soon, I sure yeah, as soon as the boat opened, I was like, we're going to see him die. Yep. Yeah, as soon as he found the costume, you knew he was dead. Yep. 100%. But I would say, though, I can assure you, like I told you before, Mindy's mom and Marcus do not die. Good. Nice. They do not die. They are going to live. They are going to be fine. Oh, that's good. I like them, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. But yeah, so that was Kick-Ass 2. We only got one more to go, but that won't be for a little while. But thank you both for joining in. Thank you, everyone else. We'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Bye. Thank you.